going on, Bruce? So, we're in between Temporal Forces and Twilight Masquerade. This seems like a perfect time for me to make a video like this. It's long overdue. A couple of you in the comments section have asked, or on Instagram. And uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about binder collections. I'm talking about master setting and my collection goals that have changed recently for this year. So, it used to be, I have a dog hair in my eyelash, pardon me. <laughs> Zelda. Chill out, by the way. I'm doing my intro. So anyway, I used to be a, a, a grade and flip guy where I'd look for value in like 10 to $20 cards, grading, selling for a premium, and I would always send like 30 to 40 cards to PSA like every other week. And I would collect slabs, just like save a few for me, sell the rest, and I would do that on repeat for a pretty long time. Recently though, I started to just not want to sell cards as much anymore. You could say I started to love Pokemon cards too much. I decided that I'm gonna master set a bunch, like all, of the new Scarlet and Violet era sets. And I also, because Crown Zenith is like, you know, so OP, I decided to start with Crown Zenith. We're, I'm just gonna go Scarlet and Violet, like I said, all the way up to Temporal Forces. Um, and then for each set, I'm just gonna give you, I'm not gonna spend too much time. This is probably gonna be a longer video because I do wanna take my time to some extent and just kinda go over my opinions for each set since Crown Zenith, uh, whether I like them, whether I don't like them, uh, you know, if I think they're good long-term, whatever. I'm just gonna blab a little bit while we're going over my master set binders. For the record, none of them are 100%, we're talking like maybe 99.9 .9 on a couple of them. Um, but yeah, so I basically am collecting all of them at once and I'm taking advantage of the opportunities as they present themselves. And what I mean by that is all of these master sets, every single card, all the way down to every single reverse holo, every single holo rare, I absolutely do my best to find literally gem mint 10 quality. Perfect centering, even on the reverse hollows. <laughs> so it's taking me a long time, but at some point, hopefully by the end of this year, I will have 100% complete Crown Zenith all the way to at least Temporal Forces. For this year, that's my goal. From Crown, those eight sets, there's eight sets between that Crown Zenith to Temporal Forces. I want them all master setted. 100% near mint or better by the end of the year. All right, so uh, let's go, uh, let me go find a spot and we'll uh, check them out. Deuces. All right, so first let's talk about the binders themselves before we get into each set. So I use Vault-X, brought to you by Pokevault, not Vault-X binders. These guys are $20 on Amazon. What kind is this? Nine pocket, 20, beep, 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 So I just order these off Amazon Prime. I keep this thing and then I get the ETB. I buy one ETB and then, well, I do Pokemon Center ETBs, but I buy one regular ETB just so I can get the player's guide and then I put it in the front and it just seals in there like so. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's your custom artwork and your player guide reference for each set right on front, all together in one little package. So they are all Vault-X binders, except for the Pokemon 151, because it came with the binder collection. So yeah, we just used this bad boy for 151. All right, now let's get into all the sets. Crown Zenith. All right, we're gonna start with Crown Zenith. So one thing I forgot to tell you guys when it comes to my master sets, I do not mess with the bulk. All modern sets, the commons and uncommons, you can get the complete sets in order, ready to go, mint condition, for literally 10 bucks on eBay. So as far as I'm concerned, the commons and uncommons, the bulk, they just weigh the binder down. So I like to start off page one right off the bat with the complete reverse holo set. And if in the future I want to go back and put the commons and uncommons in, I can just go grab them and slide them in behind all the reverse hollows. Um, but yeah, there's nothing impressive at all about common and uncommon bulk. So um, yeah, I think one artwork is enough in the form of the reverse hollows. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion is who cares about the commons and uncommons. And so for this set, 
I have 30 reverse hollows that I'm missing, and that's it. Other than that, it is a complete master set. The only reason I'm missing these 30 reverse hollows is because I gave away a ton of crown... I gave away, well, pretty much all my Crown Zenith reverse hollows and hollow rares. Um, two people who ordered cards from me off my eBay store, I would usually just give use uh, commons or uh, reverse hollows and hollow rares as freebies amongst a bunch of other stuff that I give away to people. But Crown Zenith is... I think, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20,000 years from now, I think Crown Zenith will go down is rather easily, <laughs> rather easily one of the most beautiful binder sets just ever conceived of by the Pokemon company. Especially once we get to the uh, Galarian Gallery. But yeah, so I need to hurry up and just get these last 30 reverse hollows because... Like, that's all that's standing in between me and the, the 100% is a couple, you know, 10 cent reverse all those. All right, so here we go to the end. There's Alyssa's Sparkles. I think that's the most expensive of all the regular set cards. And then we get into the Texture Energies that I threw in at the end here. So there's all your Texture Energies. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -boo. Uh, then the birds, the Galarian birds. I just have two sets of them down there, the bird tens. Lucario, ETB, and then obviously Secret Rare Pikachu and your Crown Zenith collection. What was that? It was a collection box. Yeah, they both came in the same box. But I did all that, filled out this whole page, so the Galarian Gallery can start all by itself on the next page. So welcome to the most beautiful subset ever, I think. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So here are the yellow borders. So yeah, this, I mean, this is what it's all about. It's collecting Crown Zenith that really started to get my, the the brain, you know, the wheels turning on maybe I should just master set sets. If, if this is how beautiful the cards are going to be, then I should probably just start master setting. So here we are still in the yellow borders and we get down to Mareep, which is number 34. And I had two slots left, so I just put an extra Mew and an extra Lapras because those are my two favorite yellow borders. By far, I would say. But now let's get into the good stuff. The yellow borders. So boom, right there. If I needed to like back up, you know, back up what I just said about being one of the most beautiful sets ever, I would refer you to this 18 two page 18 card two page spread right here. This is just not fair. There are entire Pokemon sets that have maybe two or three decent looking cards in them in the entire set. Crown Zenith has 18 bangers just right here. So, wow. <laughs> this is insane. It's just an embarrassment of beauty, Crown Zenith. So many of these cards were at one point worth so much all on their own. Here we go. And the gold, boys. So actually, I made a YouTube video where I cracked the Giratina out of my PSA slab just to put him in here, because he was the last card I needed for the Master Set. So there's the set, and then with all of these binders, okay, so the re the hollow rare section I add at the end after the set is over, because up front here I had all the reverse hollows, and then in the spot where the hollow rare was, I put the reverse hollow. Like, is that ditto? An example, yeah, so that Ditto is a hollow rare, but in that spot is a reverse hollow, which means Ditto is now back here in the complete hollow rare section. And then after that, if I still have space in the vine, oh, here's the non textured energies, the silly ones. And then this is all just extra hits that I didn't feel like getting rid of. So yeah, whole bunch of extra yellow borders. Oh my god. All right, I still got a little space left. Yeah, I got a couple pages left. <laughs> but yeah, so Crown Zenith, my god, S tier, beautiful, absolutely insane binder collection. You, you just, even if you're not into master setting, you, you gotta master set Crown Zenith. My god, you gotta. It's too good, there's too much. All right, let's get to the Scarlet and Violet era and Scarlet and Violet base set.
All right, Scarlet and Violet base set. So around the time Scarlet and Violet base came out, my eBay store was absolutely popping off. So same issue with this set as the last one. Complete 100% master set, except I need a ton, even more than 30 reverse hollows out of here. And given how much base set I opened, I know I at one point had all these reverse hollows. Not anymore though. So we're gonna hurry up and just speed through this because no one likes looking at black rectangles, AKA empty spots. But once we get past all the reverse hollows that I still need, oh my God. All the reverse hollows that I still need, all the reverse hollows that I still need, we will finally get, okay, here we go, yo yeah, yo. Yeah. So the Illustration Rare Gallery in a uh, base set, I would say is highly underrated. But yeah, so now we're all master setted from this point forward. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Get out of here. I got a squirtle pin in my way. Little squirtle pin, get out of there. You're messing up my binder. I remember when these came out, oh god, and I pulled them, I was so happy, and then now they're in that stupid tin and they're not worth anything. Oh my. All right, here we go, here we go. So the full arts, so pretty. And then Spidops EX, apparently it is an SIR. Right on, looks amazing. This Arvin is worth a pretty penny. Sure users, all Arvins are. But here we go, the left side. Let's take a look at those real quick. So I like Maridon Crydon a lot. I really do. I don't like how many freaking EXs and how many times they've been reprinted. Like, literally, there's a Maridon and Crydon EX in, like, every freaking set, I swear. There's the Miriam. Miriam. There's another Arvin. I think the Fuller Arvin might be worth more than the, uh, the SIR Arvin. I know, Nest Ball, that one's... I think that one's pretty expensive, too. The Nest Ball. Hmm. Huh. All right, so in here and then down here is where we start the hollow rare set, like I said. Here are your hollow rares, yay. There should be a bunch of promos in here, or just random extra reverse hollow rares. I don't know what I was doing there. But yeah, so there's base set. It's all about the Miriam, and even the Miriam's not worth anything anymore, but it's still a beautiful card. Absolutely. But I don't know, dude. The Crydon and Maridon, they are so cool. Show underrated. Oh, yeah, and the Gardevoir. Remember when this Gardevoir was was cool? Now no one ever talks about it or thinks about it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Scarlet and Violet base set. <laughs> Paldea evolved. All right, now I actually need more than reverse hollows, finally. So let's see, I need eight cards. Let's see how much money I need to spend to finish this. Magikarp, what is that, 90 to to $100 now? Let's just call it 100 because I think it might actually be... So 100, Raichu, I think that's like 15 bucks. So we're at 115, Tyranitar, I think he's down to 20 or 18. I'll just call him 20. Uh, so now we're up to 135, Marshall, that's like seven bucks. Let's say 142, Squawkabilly and Fortress, dollar, dollar. So we're up to, let's just call it 145. And Tinkatani X, <clears throat> that's a, like, what, a $15 SIR? So it's called 160. And then Iono, I did pull Iono SIR the night before Palais came out. Instantly sold Iono for $165 raw, uh, which I think is more than the PSA 10 goes for now. So I definitely made a good choice, but I never, ever, 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 ever pulled her ever again, which blew my mind given how much of this silly set, this massively huge set that I opened. But yeah, so I need eight cards. What is it, like 200 something dollars? But yeah, all right, let's check it out real quick. Because man, this binder is, you can tell this is a huge set just... Me picking this binder up compared to the Crown Zenith and the base set binder, like, it's pretty odd. I mean, I know I got a lot of extras in here, but still. And the Fortress, and what did I say? I needed the Fortress and the Squawkability. Squawkability. I definitely pulled both those cards, but then I sold them because I had no idea I was going to be master setting at the time. Well, well, and then, yeah, for whatever reason, every store I go to, I keep finding Squawkabillies, but they're always the Paldean Fate Squawkabilly and not the freaking Paldea Evolved one. And no, I don't order any of these online. The whole reason this is difficult 
is because I go to all my card shops in the Phoenix area and I eyeball all these cards. So that's why it's taken me a long, long time. I either open them or I buy them raw, um, you know, patronizing my local card shops. So yeah, for whatever reason, like, just something as basic as that Squawkabilly full art. Like, yeah, I can go online and I can buy it, but it's just, it's, it's not a challenge to do this online. I live in Phoenix. There's a million card shops here, which is the whole reason I'm trying to make a minty in-person master set for all these sets. Okay, so what I say, I needed Mosshold, I needed Raichu, and I needed Tyranitar, and I needed Magikarp. Other than that, we got all the others. 36. There are 36 illustration rares in Paldea. I think they are all beautiful, except for Wooper, of course. I mean, in the right light. The right, there, boom. The Wooper looks good. Now it doesn't. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. There's some really underrated um, illustration rares in this set, by the way. Like, like... The Gotharita is actually really nice. The Tinka Tink. The Rabska. What is this Rabska worth? Like a dollar? The Sandagast. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of good cards in this set. Pseudo Wudo. Saw this on Reddit the other day. People are still doing the where's the Pokemon joke. Alright, so Magikarp. Alright, just get some full arts. Belly Bolt. I love Belly Bolt. All right, here we go, here we go. Where's the goods? Down there. So this Skeledurge, highly underrated. That is such a beautiful, amazing card. I actually think it looks better than the Chi and Pao. I like Chi and Pao more than Skeledurge, but that Skeledurge, I just love all the light pastels. Wu Chen's cool. I love Wu Chen. Everyone loves Chi Yu, but I love Wu Chen. All right, we got Ting Lu. So where does Iono go, right here? Or right here? Yeah, Iono goes right there. Wait, then what the heck goes right here? What the? Does Iono go right there? What am I missing? I thought I was missing was Iono. What's going on here? Okay, so yeah. Dendra? Wait. Squat? Oh, 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 yeah, that. I f I'm an idiot. I forgot. I needed Tinkaton SIR. Ay, ay, ay. I was thinking Iono was all I needed. All right, so Tinkaton goes there, and then Iono goes there. And then we're master setted. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the extras real quick. These gold cards are bangers. I love these. I love energy gold cards. All right, so here's the complete. What is there, like 26? Hollow rares in this set, and this is all of them in order. And then boatloads, boatloads of promos, and tons of Oricorios down here. What the heck? Promos, and then really minty reverse hollow rares, I guess, is what this, this page is over here. A bunch of Growlithe. Holy Tinker Tinker Tank tink and Schmalives. Yeah, how? Yeah, <laughs> oh my. I have a uh, promo blister pack problem. It's not even close. I have so many more of these. <laughs> ah, Varooms! So I'm pretty sure I'm the only person on planet Earth that spent at least, I don't know, $250, $300 on Obsidian Flames packs and stuff and didn't pull a single Charizard. And when I say a single Charizard, I mean I never even pulled the EX. So yeah, I got way, <laughs> way unlucky, especially when you consider how tiny of a set this is. So as far as this set, um, now though, and now that we're way, way, way past that, I have, what do I need? I only need two Charizards, and that's it, and then a bunch of, I guess, not too many Reverse Hollows, I don't think, or maybe, I don't know. I really did not have fun opening this set at all, um, not just because of the lack of Charizard pulls, but just like, I don't know. I just, I really disliked how small this set was. Um, and the crazy thing is this set, so yeah, you know, I, I'm missing a lot of reverse hollows. But the set, I don't know, this set had, just imagine if this set had everything it had in it, 
but then had a handful more SIRs and a handful more IRs and hyper rares, it would all of a sudden be like a very light set. Like these illustration rares that are in here are bangers. They just need more of them. Same with the gold cards with the hyper rares. There's only three. Like, what are you doing? If they would have made five, you know, and then just throw in a few more SIRs, this set, I mean, this set would have been just absolute banger set. But instead, there's the Charizard I'm missing, and there's the Full Art Charizard. These are the two hits that I'm missing, and that's it. Other than that, it's all reverse hollows. So once I get this Charizard this weekend, and this Charizard this weekend, these are goals for this weekend at TCG Topia, uh, yeah, then I'll be 100% other than, again, the reverse hollows. Little bastards. Um, oh, yeah, side note, Poppy and Gita are both like 2 or $3. And just as a rule of thumb, anytime I find an SIR that is on like 2 or $3, I just buy it. So I have a lot of Poppies and I have a lot of Gitas. Just because, I, you know, it's a standing order. I'm just like, hey... If it's two bucks, I'll buy it. So yeah, the Poppy, it's a two dollar SIR, only because of how tiny the set is. The Gita, two or three dollars. Oh, here's all my Gitas. I was gonna say I know I have more Gitas than this. But yeah, just some extra hits, and then more promos. Lots of whoopers, whooper, whooper, whooper. I bet you what? What's on this next page? Oh, more whoopers and more Houndstone. All right, everybody's favorite, Scarlet and Violet, 151. It's not my favorite. I'll tell you what my favorite set is. It's still on its way. It's coming on up. Uh, so, for by the way, I got to assume we're hopefully halfway through this video. For those of you who are still watching this video, please, please, if you're enjoying this, please hit the like. Um, if you hate this um, or love it, leave a comment and please let me know. It's the whole reason I do YouTube, because I try to talk to people about Pokemon cards. So this binder is very heavy. Real quick, let me finish that thought. I don't care how many views my, my YouTube videos get. If no one comments on them, and I don't have comments to engage with and community people to talk with, I genuinely don't care. My last video did really well. as like 2,000 views. Um, not a lot of comments for the first time ever, where I had really high views and low comments. And it just totally killed the video for me, personally. Like, views are great. What I really like is talking to you guys about Pokemon cards, so please leave a comment. So for this this set, I did it a little different. This is extremely heavy, and the reason it's so heavy is because every single Reverse Hollow slot, I fit as many Reverse Hollows as I could fit in every single slot. So every page has a ton of cards. Like, literally, there, there are four Ivysaurs right there. I, th four, four, I think three. There's four Squirtles down there. So, yeah, this is just... And, and the reason I did that is because if there's ever a set in the future where the Reverse Hollows might be worth anything, it's this set. Um, and a lot more people are master setting this set than any other set. And a lot of people want Reverse Hollows. A lot of people are looking for these Reverse Hollows. The Scyther? Where'd the Scyther go? Where's the Scyther? Oh yeah, it's not in... It's in different order, I forgot. Um, but the Scyther was like 4 or $5 for like a whole month when this set first came out. And we're talking about a reverse holo. Okay? So yeah, I, I have a ton more <laughs> that aren't in this binder, but you could fit about... You can shove about four cards in each slot before it's like you're ruining the binder. So there's at most four reverse hollows in every one of these slots where there is a reverse hollow. And yeah, this set of all the sets, I am really, really taking my time. Like with the IRs and the SIRs and everything, like they legitimately have to be a Gem Mint 10 candidate for me to put it in this binder. Uh, yeah, because you know, this is, again, this is the serious set that's gonna hold a lot of value Moving forward, that and another set that we're going to talk about that I actually like more than this set here in a minute or two if I hurry up. Yeah, let's, uh, let me turn these pages a little faster. Yeah, this guy is so heavy. Like, even without the bulk, you know, the commons and uncommon non-hollows, I got this binder way too heavy. All right, 
So here we go. Here we go. So what do I need? I need Charmander, Charmeleon, Charmander, Charmeleon, Wartortle. I need Wartortle. I didn't know I needed Wartortle. I'm going to have to get that this weekend. I got all these guys. I actually have a lot of Pikachus. Um, yeah, I collect Pikachus. So I have a bunch of extra Pikachus. Let me go to the full arts. Yo, yo, yo. Pulled the Charizard. I pulled it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Pulled that live. Well, not live. Whatever. Recorded. All right. So, yeah. This is what I'm talking about when I'm taking my time. The Venusaur, the Blastoise, and the Charizard. I'll... Thankfully, they haven't moved in price at all since the set came out. You know, it, I mean, I'd prefer that they went down. But, yeah. I am just in no rush and i'm going to buy perfect copies of all three of those here very very soon so now we get to the all the hollow rares am i i'm missing a hollow rare is that marowak i'm literally missing a hollow rare Mar marowak a hollow what the hell man i've opened a lot of 151 so like every single one of these hollow rares is literally perfectly centered i think i do have a couple extra but the fact that i never pulled a marowak I probably opened 200 something packs of 151 easily and then here's all your energies i think i have like four I, same thing with this i put like four or five in each slot and that finishes off the hollow rares and what is this okay we have a couple extra muse a couple gold card the promos these promos when you're looking for printed into the ground abundant black star promos that'll be worth way more graded in a you know it's these three like these three absolutely the most common cards ever but i guarantee you they'll hold value in a psa 10. more of them oh my god and then some ex's all right let's move on to paradox rift all right so i'm a huge huge fan of ancient and future pokemon ancient i don't know because i love dinosaurs future i don't know because i love transformers so there you go I opened a ton of Paradox Rift, more than I would like to admit, and while there are, what, 16 SIRs, and I did not get very lucky as far as that goes, I did pull Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon, so I didn't pull very many SIR. I think I pulled another couple, but, I mean, I pulled the two most expensive cards in the set, so even though I didn't pull a ton of them, and there are a ton of them, which is why this set in its entirety in its entirety, is very undervalued. Um, like, God, if it wasn't for Iron Hands and the playability of Iron Hands, like, the overall set value would be so low. Um, but in my experience, like, these pull rates and everything seem, I, I guess, not near as hard as, I mean, somewhere between everything else and Temporal Forces. Like, not, not as hard as Temporal Forces, but I don't know. Like, I don't think that many people are pulling tons of Paradox Rift SIRs. Like, I don't know. And it does have a lot of uh, 10 to $20 value, or like 15 to $30 value in the, you know, the, the Hyper Rare, or the uh, SIR and Hyper Rare category. Uh, but overall, just no no bangers. Like, like the Iron, uh, or the, what am I, the Scream, what am I, what is it? Roaring Moon, Jesus, it has scream tails all over it. The Roaring Moon, at only like fifty-five or sixty bucks, like I don't know, man. It's such a cool card. I feel like I feel like I I'd feel better if it was like a seventy or eighty eighty dollar card is the most expensive. Uh, but yeah, so I needed some. What do I need out of here? Basically, all I need out of here is some reverse hollows. Rourke 242. The amount of times I have walked into a card shop with Rourke 242 full art in my head, and they don't got it, and it's just a dollar card or two dollar full art, uh, but then a bunch of SIRs. But all the IRs? I've done a really good job collecting all the IRs from all these sets. Like, every single set, I only need at most, like, three. And that's including Temporal Forces. Like, I've already got a ton of Temporal Forces, uh, IRs. But... A lot of good stuff. Like, I love this card, and it's like a dollar. That's fine. It's okay if it's cheap. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, the Steelix. Oh, my God. This Steelix is one of my favorite IRs from all of last year. Just straight up. I freaking love the Steelix so much. I love Steelix. I never realized how much I love Steelix. It just kind of crept up on me. And next thing I know, I was telling people that I love Steelix. And I'm like, all right. I slowly but surely became a Steelix fan. What was that? There's the there's 242. That's the 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 Rourke. I think I ha used to have that card too. Gosh darn it! All right. So look at all these. <laughs> it makes me so sad. All these, there's, there's too many. It's the exact opposite of Obsidian Flames. So Garchomp. Oh, I pulled the Garchomp too. The Garchomp was the first one that I pulled. But I pulled Iron Valiant. Pulled Roaring Moon. Professor Sada, I just bought her yesterday. Turo, I bought last week. Mila, I bought a month ago. Rika, I bought two months ago. Tulip, I bought like three months, four months, I don't know. But yeah, that's what I mean when I'm saying all this is slowly but surely happening as the minty opportunities at a great price present themselves. But yeah, this, oh man. She actually cost me, I paid extra for her. I paid like 24 and she's only supposed to be like 19 or 20. But it's perfectly centered. It's like an immaculate. Immaculate. Professor Sato's Fatality. Turo's scenario is pretty cool, too. Countercatcher, isn't that worth something now? It was only worth a few bucks when I bought it. Now it's like 15 bucks or something like that. A lot of, what is it, 25 hollow rares? These are all hollow rares. This is a hollow rare section of the binder. All perfectly centered. Challenge me. I guarantee you, in the comment section below, you cannot find a terribly centered card in any of these binders. <laughs> oh my god. I like artifacts. I think I liked this promo way more than whatever the other option was. And then these. Oh my. Just some minty IRs. Oh, Porygon. The Porygon is so cool. He's streaming. He's streaming. Raymond, there's another Steelix. Steelix Reverse Hollow Rare. Tell me I won't grade that. I won't. I won't grade that. It's just a bunch of extra Reverse Hollow Rares. All right. All right. Oh. A couple. Gee, <laughs> Parasol Ladies. It was the Pine Co. Yeah, we don't care about the Pine Co. That's why we had so many of the artifacts. Uh, but yeah. Sinistee? Anyone want some tea? Holy moly. Oh, and then Satitan. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder. Yeah, not the best promos for Paradox Rift. That's for sure. But I do like the Artibax. The Artibax promo was nice. Definitely like that. All right, we finally made it to the set I have been waiting for. So between all eight of these sets and their subsets, the Crown Zenith Galarian Gallery, and then this Baby Shiny subset, those two have been, I, you know, I thought it was going to be the, the biggest chore pain in the butt ever trying to master set Paldean Fates. And in one aspect, it absolutely has been a pain in the butt. Uh, I've spent way too much money attempting to master set this. I am finally almost done. And now that I am almost done, I, I got to say, like, I am a massive fan of this set. Like, this set, it, it, there's some rumblings of people like Danny Phantom and others that are like, yo, this set's crazy overpowered and, tons, like, full of tons of value, and no one's talking about it. Because um, everyone moved on to the Temporal Force pumping fiasco or Sword and Shield to the Moon stuff, right? But this set, putting this together, slowly, and again, trying to do it all minty, perfectly centered, all that, it's just been the most, like, bring me back to being a kid need to collect all 151 Pokemon again, except in this case it's 120 and they're all baby shinies. Like, I don't know. That feeling of gotta catch them all, I have never felt that feeling more than with this set of 120 baby shinies. And I'm almost done. And this, I don't know, like, I smile ear to ear looking through the Crown Zenith binder. But now that I'm nearing the end of this... I, this, I can't wait to, like, this is a priority for me, finishing this set, because I'm already so close, 
And the baby shinies are just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I pulled him. Hehe. <laughs> Did not pull Pikachu. Pikachu is 45 bucks now, maybe even 50. Pikachu needs to settle the F down because <laughs> it's, I don't have Pikachu. It's one of the few that I don't have. But man, oh my. I even bought a second Starmie and switched it out because I wasn't happy with the condition of the first Starmie. But man, I just, there's not, okay, so let's talk about the fates. All the fates for a sec. Hidden fates, shining fates, and now Paldean fates. We all know shining fates is an absolute ass set. Here is no value, printed to the ground, there's nothing cool in it, terrible selection of Pokemon, handful of decent cards, and that's it. So, it's really about hidden fates or Paldean fates. Everyone and their mom will tell you it's really about hidden fates. I'm not saying this set is better than hidden fates. What I am saying is, if I might end up being the first person on the internet to say it is in a year or two, <laughs> I love Hidden Fates, okay? I absolutely love Hidden Fates. I got back in right before Hidden Fates. I bought a million, bazillion, trillion of those, uh, what was it, Raichu, Gyarados, and Charizard Hidden Fates tens at Target. And they're on sale for $9.99 for four packs of Hidden Fates. I remember that like it was yesterday. But at the same time, I'm just saying Palaean Fates is a very close runner-up. A very close number two right now. Two Hidden Fates when it comes to that specialty sets, the ends, and the Fates. Uh, yeah, like, they're, this Pidgey... This Pidgey was like 14 bucks when I bought it. I think it still is. There might even be more now. This Snorlax is what... I bought this Snorlax for like 7 or 8 bucks, like a month and a half or two ago. Now it's like 15 bucks or something. Okay, real quick. This is potentially the Caesar. I don't know why, but man, do I love the Caesar baby shiny. Same with the Gravai. I, 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 I. I love the Gravai. I, 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 I. Snorlax. Just a little puff. Just a little puff. Sorry. We're nearing the end of the video, so I'm getting weird. Le Chunky Boy. Where's my Le Chunky Boy? Le Chunky Boy. Sorry. So full arts, all I need is the Pidgeot. Right there. Pidgeot. Those are just the last three baby shinies over there. So the one chink in Paldean Fates' armor, by far, is this, this, and that. The Pommy. So that, that was their one screw-up is that they uh, they only made three illustration rares. And look, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, it doesn't matter who, who you are watching this, there is a very strong chance that you will never meet anyone in your life that visits more card shops than I do, like drives to like physical card shops and looks through card shop binders. This Palmy, this Palafin, this Wug Trio down here, I knew it the second I realized what was going on. I'm like, six months from now, there's going to be so many of these three cards on set, or, you know, in binders for a dollar at card shops that you can easily probably walk into any card shop and walk out with a hundred of these, like total. And yeah, I, every card shop I go to, there's so many. It's just sad. So all I need as far as SIRs is Iono, which is right there. Thankfully, she's only, what, 35 bucks, 40 bucks, and pulled the Charizard. I never pull a Charizard, and I pulled the, that Charizard. Let me see if I can get it in there. You're so beautiful. Bought the Gardevoir, but then, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Pulled the Mew. Pulled the Mew. Here, let me go this way. Let me shake the camera. There you go. Stop shaking yeah, I pulled the Mew, bought the Gardevoir, pulled the Charizard. So that alone, just pulling the Mew and Charizard gave me the confidence to get going <laughs> on buying all the baby shinies. So I was like, look, you got lucky. Now let's, uh, let's buy baby shinies. Uh, these, by the way, nobody knows this, but these are called Jade Hyper Rares. It's not called green. It's not called blue. It's not called turquoise. It's Jade. Jade and gold. And I, for one, am a big time fan of these jade hyper rares 
Like, they're just another reason Palladian Fates is freaking awesome. There's my Coridon. The Coridon, I need Maridon still. Coridon is so nice. Oh, wait, don't I need Ting Lu? Yeah, I need Ting Lu, I need Coridon. I need a bunch of them, I guess. But man, man, man. I just bought Nimona for like 10 bucks. I bought Clive for like 10 bucks. What? 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 But yeah, I only need like, what was it? I only need about 15 or 20 more baby shinies. And then I'll already have the master set of the baby shinies. All right. Temporal forces. All right. Temporal forces. So this one. Ay, ay, ay. So basically, I already know what I'm going to do with this one, which is Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the week before Christmas at GameStop. Every year, year in, year out, there are crazy sales at the end of the year, right? If you've been in this hobby long enough, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I've already decided that because these SIRs in this set are so damn expensive, that I am going to focus a large amount of my holiday, you know, whatever Black Friday purchases on Temporal Forces. Temporal Force sealed products. I should probably stop buying a lot of the cards that I need, so... I don't get doubles when this happens, but um, but yeah, so with this set, I did not get very lucky at all, like most people, with the SIRs, and I decided, because the IRs are so cheap, and I pulled a lot of the IRs, that I would go ahead and feel good about myself for the set by at least trying to master set the IRs, and then I'll worry about, well, maybe the A-Specs too, uh, but then I'll worry about the really expensive uh, SIRs, Later in the year, at the end of the year, once people finally stop thinking about Temporal Forces and stop pumping those SIRs. But until then, I pulled Prime Catcher. <laughs> it's worth more than a couple, a lot of the SIRs. <laughs> but uh, the Illustration Rare section, I'd say it's a banger. It's a win. There's some weird ones. I don't really like the Snom too much. But, um, but overall, very beautiful set of Illustration Rares to master. What do I need? I need Excadrill. So look at this page. This page, starting with Cutie Fly, Relicanth. I think that's Excadrill that's supposed to be in that corner. Uh, but there's your Arbok and Ghastly, which I love the green and purple right next to each other. Plus, you know, 151. It's just nice. I don't know. I really like how the, the green and purple lines up right there next to each other. Metagross. I pulled a lot of these. Pulled, pulled, pulled. Meltan. Pulled. Licky Licky, I bought. Chat Tot, I bought. Mancino, I bought. Sencino, I need. I believe that's a full art. Because I think I just need Excadrill and Sencino. Right? Alright, let's take a look at these. Alright, so the full arts. I really like the hyper rares in this set. Quite a bit. I realize we're not there yet. Alright, here's. Oh, God, no. Look at all these missing spots. But yeah, so a lot of full arts. Here, pulled this on YouTube. The Iron Leaves in my Pokemon Center ETB. And when I pulled it, it was the most expensive card in Temporal Forces for about a day. The Hyper Rares. I'm definitely going to hurry up and buy these. This I just bought today. And I traded in some accidental double purchase baby shinies. Um, it's a $14 card or a $13 card. I'm only paying 8 bucks for it. But yeah, all I pulled Walking Wake. Oh yeah, I bought Salvatore yesterday. Today? Did I buy you today or yesterday? I don't know. Who cares? Point is, I think I just bought Salvatore because I couldn't stand that all I had was Iron Leaves for the SIRs, and Salvatore is like ten or eleven bucks. All right, there's the uh, Hollow Rares, and then just a bunch of promos. All right, so that's that. So that is yeah. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and uh, go back to the computer real quick. All right, if you watch this whole video, oh my God, thank you. I have no idea how long this video is about to be. It's probably about to be really, really long. Um, but thank you very, very much. Um, please leave a comment, leave a like. I'm a, I'm a little YouTuber, so a little like goes a long way. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this. I really enjoy master setting Pokemon cards. Um, it's the one part of Pokemon card collecting that really keeps me freshly interested um, constantly. 
it helps me engage with the community it helps me get out and meet new people at card shops uh yeah and i i genuinely have a lot of fun sparking that childhood gotta catch them all drive you know um it's, it's just been a huge stress relief for me um and it's nice to have goals in life so there's that too but anyway like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one deuces Thank you.